a company established over 60 years ago. Built on the philosophy of principles, people and products. Striving to touch the lives of millions around the world. Headquartered in Michigan in the United States, Amway is today the largest direct selling company in the world with its operations spread across over a hundred countries. And in India, Amway's journey started 20 years ago. For the past two decades, Amway India has emerged as the number one direct selling company in India. Amongst the top 15 FMCG companies in the country, India is amongst the top 7 markets globally for Amway. Driven by its core vision of helping people live better lives, Amway India strives to provide unparalleled opportunities to Indians by igniting the entrepreneurial spark within them. Amway business owners can sell 140 distinctive quality products that the company offers across categories like nutrition, beauty, personal care, home care and consumer durables. We now speak to the man who's at the helm of this inspiring business, uh, this inspiring success story. Anshu Budraja joins us to talk about the direct selling industry and how Amway is changing that landscape. Anshu, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Pleasure to speak with you. Thank you. Right, Amway. Describe Amway's journey in India. It's been here since the 90s and what are the opportunities that you see for the brand? See, I think Amway in India is all about brands uh, that do wonders. Uh, it's about opportunities you know, that empower at the heart of the business. It's about relationships uh, which endure. Uh, and it's also about a global consciousness which is very purposeful. So that's, I guess, the story of Amway. And it all adds up to us uh, delivering 20 years of successful experiences for our distributors and consumers, uh, you know, in India. And trace that origin story where you started with six products yeah. and you've gone on to expand to over 140 products. How has that journey been? Uh, honestly, uh, when we started this company way back in 1998, at the end of the first year, you are right, we started with five offices, you know, six products. We finished with a turnover of about 100 crores. And we thought uh, that, what a fantastic start. But I guess little did we know that our journey had just begun. And uh, looking back, you know, I define success not uh, by the targets which we have set uh, in 2019 of 2000 crores, or with the, uh, you know, 150 offices which we have which deliver solutions and experiences to our distributors and customers or with the completion of the 1000 crores of investments which we have just done. Uh, it includes the 600 crores of investment in the state of the art manufacturing plant which we have built for our distributors. Uh, or with the 24 warehouses, uh, with third party, you know, service providers delivering to 11,000 zip codes. To my mind, the success is defined by the success of our business person oh, right. and how they live the life of an entrepreneur every day. Direct selling is not exactly an easy business to yeah. operate in. So tell us about how do you think Amway has changed that landscape? How have you grown as Amway has grown? Uh, the global direct selling industry is close to about $180 billion. It's got 100 million people. But in India, it's just a billion dollars. It's got six million people, you know, in the industry. Very simplistically, direct selling is all about selling products to people and helping others sell products. And that takes us to the place of micro-entrepreneurship, self-employment, and I would say personal development. Hmm. Uh, and again, the niche about direct selling industry is that 60% of the industry is all about women. And that again gets you into women entrepreneurship, enhancing the workforce participation of women in the country. So those are the new things this direct selling is talking about in India. It took us time in the last 20 years to seed that industry in India, but I feel now there is very high level of awareness, favorability about the industry and the impact 
the industry has on the overall socio-economic situation. Take us through the evolving product portfolio and investments that you envisage for India. Since we have got that ecosystem for us very successful, been running for 20 years, we believe it's time to grow outside some of the innovations which we have done in the market and take it to the global world. We are really pioneering a lot of innovation in India and now we want to take it to Southeast Asian countries, we want to take it to Europe, we want to take it to Russia. So yes, we see a lot of relevant opportunities for us in the nutrition space, especially with the traditional wisdom which we have in India to be taken by the market. 70 kilometers from Madurai, the cultural capital of Tamil Nadu, lies the small town of Nilakotai in the Dindigul district. This is where Amway has built its first manufacturing unit in India in its endeavor to reiterate its commitment to the Make in India initiative. We chose Madurai as a location because we thought it best suited to our industry of health and wellness. And in and around the Nila Kote Industrial Park, we see a wealth of vegetation. Very nice ecosystem has already been created and we thought it relevant to house a world-class manufacturing plant. We feel we are creating a very nice ecosystem for not only us to nurture the local talent, but also to learn from the local ecosystem how we can develop and work together much more closely. And like you earlier said, you know, make products for the world. The plant boasts of one of the largest rooftop solar plants in Tamil Nadu. In keeping with its green initiatives, the world-class manufacturing facility also targets to conserve up to 50,000 cubic meters of rainwater every year and is said to be designed to achieve operational efficiency. In fact, the Amway Madurai plant is also one of the very few LEED gold standard certified manufacturing plants in the country. We would be one of the very few manufacturing plants in the country having a Leeds Gold certification because of our environmental sustainable practices. That is number one. Number two is we would be one of the very few companies who manufacture products for human consumption without any preservatives. We are able to do it because of our strict practices of people, material, environment, etc. The third one is that we would be one of the very few companies that from construction till date, we have had zero recordable injuries. We have had more than 20 million safe human hours in the plant and we continue to be safe even till date. Along with meeting world-class safety and quality standards of products manufactured by the company, Amway also stands out when it comes to its innovative online and offline marketing strategies, which include the brand's best asset, word of mouth advocacy. Primary, one important component of a marketing strategy, which I think is quite unique uh, to Amway as a direct selling company, is to provide well differentiated and relevant products to our direct sellers and give them stories, campaigns, claims, and tools to promote them. Through digital advertising, social media campaigns, uh, blogger engagement, and various other means. So last year, we launched Neutralite Traditional Herbs. When I talk to you about the Neutralite 2 seed traceability story, and I tell you that we have taken the right seed, which is a non-GMO seed, grown it in the right farm, which is an organic farm, then we have taken the right and the most potent species of Tulsi. And then they are produced in a LEED Gold certified manufacturing plant, finally converting it into a product. And one tablet of Tulsi has the potency of 100 leaves of Tulsi. And our job in marketing is to bring this story to life to consumers, right? So what do we do? We provide tools to our distributors. We give them the story, then we give them tools. It's like a QR code app or an augmented reality app. So whenever a consumer or a distributor who's selling to a consumer takes their app on the phone and points it at the barcode on the pack or the label on the pack, the entire story comes to life.
entrepreneurship being central to the company's philosophy. And they plays a major role when it comes to generating livelihood opportunities and skilling people across India. We have a very structured guided entrepreneurship program uh, that starts from onboarding to handholding people through their journey uh, in Amway. Uh, we have a very low threshold in terms of joining. Uh, we don't have a joining fees. We don't have any prerequisite on education. And we have found that a lot of people who are joining Amway business are from tier two, tier three towns. After joining, we have been able to build upon their uh, innate abilities in terms of creating them as successful entrepreneurs. Almost 60% of these people who are in this business are women entrepreneurs. Diversity and especially gender diversity is a very critical element for us. We ensure that all our people, our people policies, practices are there to ensure that women find it enjoyable, women can make career, women are finding all these set of right set of parameters in building them. Overall, if you ask me, essentially policies are there to, to, to cater to all sections of employees and broadly, if you ask me, it makes you feel comfortable to work. One piece I would like to mention and I, I feel very proud about it is essentially the transparency in which we work. Another part of this guided entrepreneurship journey is the CSR activities that uh, Amway is involved in, especially in, in places like Madurai. Tell us something about that. How important is CSR for, for Amway? See, I think CSR for us is not incurrence of a cost. It is a meaningful way to bring social change and innovation. And to my mind, there is a lot of uh, good work which the company has done in and around its manufacturing plant working with the local communities to improve the health care and some essential needs including water harvesting. Battling extreme summer heat and with scant rainfall, Madurai perennially faces water shortage. But with Amway's green sustainable practices, boosted by a slew of environmental friendly initiatives, help the villagers carry out their daily chores with ease. We have implemented field bunds, uh, farm pond, check dams, deepening of percolation ponds, well recharge pits, different structures which stores rainwater. Uh, there are about 2000 uh, people are living in this area. Before this project, most of the farmers, they migrated to other places in search of employment. Due to this water conservation projects, they return back to this area. So the re-migration has happened due to this project. Amway has also opened a telemedicine center with various health camps in the village to ensure that people here get the right kind of medication free of cost. We started the telemedicine center, permanent center in Etilode village. We are using the rem remedy kit, it's a remote medical kit. We are having the, that software we are using. In that software, the medical information system is inbuilt. When patient has come, what purpose patient has come, we can go through and check, check the record. As soon as they come, we can see all the parameters, blood sugar, temperature, BP, even ECG, we can take it. Since we are having the telemedicine centers in their premises, it is easy for them to assist. When they fall sick, they come to the center, get immediately to super specialty consultation. Daily basis at 9, from 9.30 to 5.30, you can see the patients in different age groups, male or female or kids, whomever it may be. We are also into captive business process outsourcing. And you will not believe me that they are close to about 100 people who are visually challenged and are still doing the world-class back office work, not only for Amway, but for multiple companies in the country. So, you know, the question is how we enable some of these people with the competencies which we have and how we can make sure that we potentially develop the human capital in and around the space.
All right. And let's look at the fact that, as I mentioned, you've had quite a journey and now you're a 2,000 crore rupee company with, with uh, substantial growth prospects. So how would you like to see this legacy being maintained in India? And what's your long-term vision for this market? And what are, what are sort of the investments you're looking at to, to help that vision become a reality? I think the future is all the citizens operating in a global village. And I think it's all about, uh, you know, co-creation, uh, you know, it's all about co-collaboration. We are part of a connected and interdependent, uh, you know, global world, businesses, communities. And, and our, the goal as per Amway values is to lead a purposeful and passionate life. We are not creating employment, but we are also enhancing the employability of people. To that extent, I think that first proposition is very well dovetailed to our business model. The second is all about your uh, digitization, personalization and intelligentization. And when you look at data, and we're all talking about, you know, uh, artificial intelligence, we're talking about machine learning, we are talking about so many things related to data, the mega data. Amway has invested in a lot of artificial intelligence. And the key for us, when you look at the mega data and the broader trends, you know, that's one piece. The other piece is when you look at the granular piece of the data, it helps you customize solutions. And then you can customize solutions and make things personal. Consumers and businesses can make very intelligent decisions. You know, and that's what Amway wants to do with all the micro entrepreneurs which we have, which is to make this opportunity and our brands relevant as a solution for all these entrepreneurs. All right. And the third piece, if I were to talk about, is health, wellness, and nutrition. And again, there are so many reports which go on to say that, you know, nutrition to my mind, including supplements, provides an economic value. You know, there was a research done in US, Australia and Europe. And combined, they mentioned, if all the people were to take the right amount of only omega-3, which is very simple stuff, you could actually reduce the cost of hospitalization by close to about $20 billion. That's very interesting. In fact, that smart positioning has helped you connect more with customers, right? Because I believe I read some I read a research which says that for every kilogram of weight that you have, you need to add one gram of protein. So that kind of simplifies yeah. the message for anyone, uh, you know, experiencing Amway products that yeah. if I do this, I get to save costs yeah. in the long run and be healthy at the same time. And that's the story of creating awareness amongst people of the right nutrition choices because there was a world study by who saying that 70 percent of the women in the world do not even take five servings of fresh fruits and vegetables and you know there is so much value in making sure our nutrition choices are the right choices and you're very right 80 percent of the people in india are protein deficient equivalent number of people Vitamin deficient, I mean like uh, calcium deficient and we are in a tropical country for heaven's sake. So it all goes on to say that we are in the right industry at the right time working with the right people. Alright and your message to newly minted entrepreneurs who are watching at home, what can they learn from the Amway growth story here in India? I think you've got to be in your life uh, operating out of values and trust and partnership are very close values uh, for me as a person and I think the match with the organization. And how much is R&D going to be important in that? Of course, when, when you talk about innovation, when you talk about empowerment, yeah. innovation yeah. is a key part of that game. So how important is R&D going to be for that? Uh, for us, it's a sizable component of the additional investments which we are going to do in the marketplace. Like I said, we already have invested in a state-of-the-art manufacturing plant. Goal for us is to bring in even more innovations backed by our research and development laboratories. Like I said, we've got thousand scientists across the world. The goal for us is to build a competent team in India, leveraging our global research touch points, but making it relevant for the Indian marketplace. We invest close to about 2 to 3 percent of our entire turnover in the research and development. To my mind, innovation is the big play as far as India is concerned. All right, that's the leadership view when it comes to the Amway growth story. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Anshu. Thank you so much. Thank you.